it's Saturday morning. It's supposed to rain about 10 o'clock. It's about eight. No, it's not, it's just after. And it's started to rain already. And I've got a feel I'm gonna sort of put the straw on lots. So I'm gonna shoot out now and do it. It's just stop spitting, so hopefully we'll get these stacked up and then we'll get them carted in. Lads are gonna put the straw rake on and start straw raking some of these OSR stubbles. Get rid of some of this bit in the bottom, distribute it more evenly and it will also damage any slug eggs that might be underneath. We harvested this field when it was quite wet and obviously you can see where the trailers have been running. But it's starting to dry and crack up, so I don't know. I don't know whether we are going to have to do any repair work to this field or not. We do with sort of like a little bit of subsoil it make Matt borrowed Bill's Grange subsoilery thing. It's like no disturbance because I don't want to move the top but I just kind of want to relieve that compaction we've put in. That is dead hedgehog. How has it got on top of the bale? That's really weird. I've seen them baled but not on top of a bale. This bush in here is cracking up so I'm just going to weld it quick now before we go and move some more straw because the spike's just tipping down a bit. Welded that bit round there now. A few cracks and then hammered this flat. Try and get a weld on this now. That's uh, rough enough for today. Anyway, uh, Project Concrete Mixers arrived, so Ian's mate wanted the chassis, but not the mixer. So we're going to try and take the mixer off and build a chassis to put it on. And then we'll have a concrete wagon. The whole thing that was held on by these bolts and plates. It's 48 each side. So, a bit of a big job on bolting. Setting Morgan off now with the straw rake. See if we can get these stubble fields done before it actually starts raining properly. It keeps spitting, but not enough to stop us. It's getting ready for new times, this, isn't it? Look how worn they are. Unless they're just weld chunks on. I say this every year, but. Maybe this will be the year that we do it. Changes the angle now. Go on all the way. More. Is that right out that? They right out that ram. Just try the try the time ram. Yeah, them front ones are worn the most, aren't they? So what we want to do is these kind of mats of straw. Want to pull through them all in case there's any slug eggs in them and redistribute them. I think we're going to have to put new times on that this week, to be fair. The rain is still just about holding off. So me and Hannah are just gonna get as much of this straw off this OSR stubble as we can, ready for Morgan then to come and straw rake it. Seems to be a loader. Oh, that lime spread's just come in now. There's loads of dust or rain or smoke blowing across. Does it drizzle? So it turns out it was like drizzle blowing across um, in like a wave. But when you get spreading lime in a minute, you'll see that that can look like pretty similar. He's just loading it now on his, uh, his 724 maybe.
that'll neutralize the soil, stop it being as acidic. Just dropped in that hopper belt, belt it to the back, these discs spin around and broadcast it to about 12 meters. Pretty similar to the muck spreader really. But just a bit more accurately. It's got weigh cells here so it weighs it, knows how much is in. Controls its speed, can spread it at different um, different doses per hectare to do with the maps loaded into it. That's the file for this field, so we're not doing that bit there where it's black and then the other bits it's got different rates on. Spread, let's go. Ten thousand hours, beast. Just like new, though. <laughs> That's good. Is that dog box? Yeah. <laughs> Lunch box. <laughs> so that four thousand kilos a hectare. A hectare. That's like four ton. Yeah, it's coming out the back now. And then that little bit there, it'll vary it down a bit. Yeah, yeah we, we run the first spreader through the iPad for it sometimes. There's a disc spinning now. I'll get a video from the outside because it looks more impressive from the outside. Yeah, the problem with doing it on a windy day is it kind of can blow quite far and everyone um, wonders what's going on. Last time we did some by some houses, we had to do it in the dark so that we didn't get like loads of complaints of people wondering what it was. You can't even see the tractor now, can you? That's better, you can see the tractor now. Operation uh, cement truck removal. Let's see what happens with the lift. So we find it's welded on. It's lifting it, isn't it? Just a tight fit. Two Merlot job now. Bonnie, just go up a little bit now. Go on. Go on. Go on. It's just tight, I think it's rusted on. Apparently one mil of rust will turn 12 times the size. Is it empty? <laughs> That's why it was heavy there. I'll have to cut it or wind it out. Yeah, we were lifting and the wagon was going up. That's why. They put like 50 bolts each side to hold it on to like 100 bolts. They only needed one. How do you want your concrete floated? So what do you reckon? Put a PTO on it there. Or just take them pipes off and just put two pipes to that and use it off the tractor hydraulics. Someone watching the video will know what to do because I'm sure it's been done many a time. Just need to put some axles under it now. Little hamster wheel. <laughs> We've bought this by its scrap value and we've weighed it. And I said we need to empty the water tank first. <laughs> we'll, weigh, we'll weigh it again afterwards. Just what Rich has always wanted. 
terrific at Richard, it's even Churro Red. It's not a bad view to be stacking straw to, is it really? Still quite a lot in flower on the sunflowers. There's one over there, actually, to pull forwards a little bit. Can you see it? There, it's proper tall. It must be like nine or ten feet tall. Another 15 names on the birthday bump today. Isabel Hill, Tim Ford, Sonia Sanders is 49, Erica Rhodes is 15, Yvonne Tag is 51, Valerie Munley, I think it's pronounced, is 21 plus fat, Stephen Hart, 69, Toby Garrido, Garrido is 12, Sh Sh Stuart Matthews, I think it's pronounced, Simon Scott is on there, uh, you're on here because your merch is late, Ian said it's on the way, Danny Monk is 37, Orla Munley is 58, Logan Jackson is 1, Lucy McDonald's 26 and Susan Jefferson's on there and I've done them all in 29 seconds but yeah there is today's birthday bumper happy birthday everyone on there and anyone else's birthday is £42,784 hopefully no one fast forwarded through that if you did fast forward through that shame on you just putting some hay caps on I can't be bothered unlocking the workshop and getting the drill out or the impact gun so I've just been doing it by hand and to be honest they're actually not that difficult to put in by hand. They obviously take a little bit longer. They take seconds with the with the drill. Literally, like, you know, three seconds and it's in. But I mean, what's that took then? Ten seconds by hand. Not long. Morgan's back now after straw raking. Probably took another half inch off these. Yeah, we might have to build them up. It's only got a little bit left of oilseed rapes double, but we do try and do some of the wheat doubles as well. Anyway, that is all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.